Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, I had a really good time last time, so I'm excited to hop right back in. I added some parchment in the background. Oh, it's almost seamless. That's actually pretty good. Look at this. Brule's really becoming a ghost. Brule. They've been leaving for a while. Just about I noticed the big glowing engines in the um in the trucks. I assume that's Rageite or whatever it was called. The town watch will guard and protect the home front. Everyone will come back someday. They'll come back when it's safe again, right? Assuming their houses aren't bombed out, right? Uh, but yeah, the, um, the big glowing engines kind of remind me of, uh, the Cartoon Network show Stormhawks, if anyone remembers that. <laughs> the birds are kind of ugly, but you know what? I like it. Animals and insects, flowers and plants, they've always been my passion. I've learned a lot from nature. You see, my dad, he protected this country as a general. But it's just they have their own I, walking paces. I want to give back. It's interesting. In my own I don't know how standard that is for a game of this era. I think I do. You're sure about it? Mm -hmm. Wow. That's deep in your own way. <laughs> it's deep for a moron like you. What was that? Sound. We being shelled? We are. Damn. Well, there's five. Probably six. See, those guys have a pretty cool design. It's pretty functional as well. I don't believe it. The mill. Is that your real one, though? Miss Melchior, the Imperials are attacking. There's a squad of them in town right now. Did, does Japan think that, like, this thing is cool? The stuff that just hugs your face? It's like a coif, but made out of, like, fabric. Get all the town watch together now. We've got to fend them off. They must be at Mill Plaza. I'll help. Thanks, Welkin. Now move out. Stay low. Fine by me. The Windmill Tower Part 2. Is this the same cutscene? Looks like the same cutscene. Yep. That's fine. I didn't really want to start a battle anyway, because I didn't save. Oh, come on. There we go. The Windmill Tower Part 3. That was my, that was my problem. I got it confused, you see? Got it twisted. What a fool I am. Ah, it says new and everything. Pardon me. <laughs> Just getting over the problems I'll of having this. The mission. The enemy has invaded the Windmill Plaza, taking the, almost the entire area over. We deploy here. Hide behind sandbags for cover as you advance towards the plaza. Eliminate the enemy leader. They'll probably be up there. There may be enemy, very many enemy units hiding behind the buildings. They won't show up in command mode, so be careful as you make your advance. Okay, let's begin. Our 
Our target is the Imperials in Mill Plaza. Breaking the chain of command should... All right. I... All right, who do we got? Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. A set amount of damage a unit has. The damage a unit has sustained is healed in each turn. If they take heavy damage, don't push them up. Stay back and heal. Should an enemy's attack drive a unit's HP to zero, they become critical. In this battle, you have no way of helping a unit in critical condition. So I will later. So, like, I get a med pack item or something. Fight carefully so no one reaches zero. Let's see who we got. Miscellaneous Rando Town Watchman. Enemy sighted. N any when a unit sights an enemy in action mode, a sight line will appear over his or her head. The line connects the unit to the enemy, meaning the line points in the direction of the enemy's location. Use it as a guide when attacking, or turn to position your units in a spot where they will be safe from enemy attacks. Turn red. Sure. Versus, versus, per, oh, versus person against human targets and versus armor shows damage against armor. So I can't damage against tanks. And I have no AoE. Effective. Slight damage. No damage. Is would square be double damage? Because those are the those are three of the four PlayStation face buttons. Damage broad area shots and other rounds. Number of shots. Man, I can't wait until we get more than two party members because I don't want to have I don't want to keep like town fucking guard in the party, you know? <laughs> like no offense, but he kind of sucks. I also hope Welkin gets like some snazzy armor. Cool. Yes. Yeah, point to the stands. Now let's have you move up. Like, please, can we have... Somebody else. Anybody else. Windhovel Road. I might like it if the if the gun sound was a little more decisive. Oh yeah, there's a thing that I wanted to comment on. Um, there's a lot of anime that don't really have a strong cast. They have a lot of female characters where the purpose of them is to just be waifus that you can sell figures of, and then one male f male character that you don't need to have a like personality traits on that you know any watcher can project himself because these you know a lot of animes are written by or for straight men but like you know just something that you can project yourself onto you a straight man and then everyone else is just ladies right now you're on thin ice Valkyria Chronicles but I see uh, I saw other guys in the opening cinematic so here's hoping that there will be more guys Hmm. No. Here we go. Let's take a look at what Welkin can do for us then, huh?
cool. Please hit little persona, little little persona vibes there. Okay, so let's try burning my turn here and seeing if we can get four command points. I can't. Um, but yeah, a lot of modern anime is Jesus Christ is written like that, where you just have like just essentially like male characters that could be nameless. If you want a strong female protagonist, then you should have been reading a Yuri manga to begin with. Oh, and they do it behind the black as well, so you can't see. And we get four. Cool. Let's dash Welkin up. So there's no Overwatch I'm seeing. Oh, welcome. Oh, yeah, right. My fiance is on her way home. Lucky me. Honor system, nobody throw a grenade at us, okay? Hmm. We could move them both here and flank this guy. But I feel like it'll do me better to have all three of my units up here. I'm interested to see where the money can be put. You better watch the fuck out. It's Town Watchman. First name Town, last name Watchman. See your technique, I'm flanking. Oh yeah, we have more as well. My turn, okay? Cool. But yeah, from what I saw in the opening, I'm hoping that we have, like, a cast, you know? Like, we actually get a group of people that we can give a shit about. <laughs> My plan worked very well. We just flanked the shit out of him. By the way, kind of a ballsy move to shell an area and then send guys in, like... What if they got hit by something? What if it was dangerous for them? What's that? You know, the thing about just saying, oh, it's okay, we have Sounds reserves, okay. like... That worked for some people, sometimes. I think the last time it worked was maybe for Russia in World War II, and it didn't really work out for them. Part of it was because their goal was not exactly just winning the war their goal was you know surviving the war and making sure that well, there's another two down but yeah their goal was surviving the war as a country and maybe getting rid of some of their surplus population I'm 
so excited. Like, I'm legitimately, like, excited to meet the other characters. Damn. So the tank is over there. Am I going to get a helpful tutorial on how to kill tanks with my fists? Town Watchmen, no! <laughs> they, fl they, f they flicker like it's a Super Nintendo game. So maybe we should, like, tactically retreat? Oh my god, look at the damage we're doing to the tank. <laughs> oh, our poor little guys. I see that. That's not good. We're not equipped to take out a tank. I hate to say it, but we should probably pull out for now. Get off this road and into the alley to the east. It's too narrow for a tank to follow. So we get to use geo effects against guys and too. Try to stay behind cover while moving. One blast from that turret and it's over. I saw. It's bad. Welkin reaches the destination is the victory goal. So we are heading here. Who mama? Can't go that way. Oh my God. There's so many men. Well, there goes Town Watchman. Oh, he's retreated. Don't worry, guys. I saw their parachutes. Well, we learned something. And that's good. That guy's not using cover, by the way. Very impractical of him. Ready to go. Oh, it's, it's a gigantic, super huge, big glowing weak point. Like, if we don't shoot that thing, I call foul. Now. Nice. All right, another guy down. So I wonder if they just have a huge amount of turns that they start with. Yes, yeah, shoot the tank. Oh, the body and treads have different health bars. Interesting. Oh, man. So where exactly were we supposed to be going? Here we go. Oh, cool. <laughs> well, bye, Alicia. Phew. Looks like we shook him. What are you doing from here? <laughs> if they're rolling in the tanks, there's not much the town watch can do. Can't throw a tank in the gulag. We'll try to buy time so everyone can get away. I'll Should be the title of the episode. <laughs> what, what a quote. Okay. I'll head back to my house and grab Isara and Martha, then come back. I'll pull out the map, which is clearly labeled with my house. Be careful out there, Welkin. D 
rank. Probably from all the damage I took. Enemy tank bonus. Oh, but I didn't kill any, so whatever. Chapter 2. Escape from Brule. All right. Also, does Wilkin call his mother by her first name? Because I hate that. Like... Isara, Martha. Yeah, there you go. Please be okay. Is it like a Galleon, like, cultural thing, maybe? Martha! What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? <laughs> what the hell, man? Well, uh, you know, war criminals and all. Stop this now. See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a darkson. And that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. Is that Steve so Bloom? Also, are we getting into anime racism? She has to do the cool little backflip. You have to leave now. Just shoot them. Gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! <laughs> Aren't you still carrying a firearm, dude? How many times have we seen it? Man. Isara, are you okay? I'm okay thanks to you. But Martha, I think she's... Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. Now? Moving here would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just... Oh god, are we gonna have to do a mission where it's like, just five more minutes while she shoots this baby out? It's only a matter of time before they take over the mill plaza. Wilkes, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Something that might get us out of this mess. I like how she says our fathers, but like, I don't know if Welkin exactly like claims her birth dad is his father. Tank. <laughs> Said with such casualness. I it's still here. And it's one of a kind. Here it is, the Edelweiss. It's, it's called the Edelweiss. Yeah, and it Oh boy. <laughs> so it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know. Oh, that makes sense then. Emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. So I guess they don't want to like endanger endanger the non-combatant girls, so they'll like put her in a tank cuz I'm fine with that. That's cool. improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. I can't believe they call it the Edelweiss. more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work. What's next? All right. Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah. Back in high school, once. <laughs> we'll bring Martha here. She'll be safe inside the tank. And we can okay, that's not where I thought that this was going. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Like, if you think about it, like... When you see a protagonist man... And like, oh, his dad left a super robot in the garage. Like, technically a tank is less destructive than a robot, right? Like, I would be more afraid of a tank than a robot, though, you know? Like a robot, I'm like, yes, what a good friend. What a pleasant, nice place to give birth. The belly of a tank. That's so fucking cool. <laughs> like... 
I, I can't even front. That's cool. I'm legitimately so drawn in. This is so... This is such a weird combination. Like, it's both World Wars, because this isn't really World War II. I, I was told that it's anime World War II, but it's not really. Um, it has so much of World War One in it, and like... Oh, hey, we're still figuring out what, like... What it means to be post-industrial, and like... We, a lot of people still have a pastoral, like, 14th century style life. Just some of them have handguns, you know? And like... Like, the way that people went to World War One, they were like, oh, yeah, it'll be like the other ones, right? Like, it'll be all honorable and shit. And then, like, the first wave of soldiers just got bombed and, and strafed and shot. And, and then, like, the next wave, no one has the flashy, cool French uniforms. Like, cool uniforms die in the first wave of World War One. And, like, we're kind of already past that. We still have a bit of, like, utilitarian gear here. Man, that's cool. Uh, but my fiance is home, so I'm going to cut the episode here. I'm sorry, because I'm legitimately juiced to go uh, fight tanks and tanks, but like... I got stuff to do. Uh, but I had a great time. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, the Steam port is actually really solid, um, in case you're interested in buying it, but it's also on PS3. Though... We're now two console generations hence, so if you didn't want to dig out the old PS3, I wouldn't blame you. But hey, Steam Core works fine. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.